Hi everyone, welcome back. It is Vlogmas day 18 and I thought it'd be fun to share a little wine haul today. I'm a big wino and since the holiday season, I'm guessing that you're drinking a lot of wine this time of year too. And I haven't done a wine video in quite some time. So I wanted to share some wines I picked up today, things that I've been enjoying, new things I'm gonna be trying. This haul includes some Trader Joe's wine, some BevMo wine as part of the five cent wine sale and some wine club wine from Ben Zinger, which I am a member of. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each of the wines as we go. Pretty much they're all California wines. Almost all of them are gonna be Sonoma County wines. I have one wine from Paso and at least one other from Napa. So if you wanna see what I recently got, maybe find some recommendations or new brands to check out, go ahead keep watching. Okay, first up is Trader Joe's. This is a budget-friendly wine. This is from the Trader Joe's Reserve line, and this is one I've purchased over and over again. This is their Syrah, and it's from Paso. In general, I really like the Trader Joe's Reserve wines. They pretty much have every single varietal at a very good price point, usually under $10, and I feel like not all of the Trader Joe's have a great selection of these, but the one I shop at in Santa Rosa has like pretty much all of them. You can get cabs, you can get Zinfandels, you can get Syrah, Pinots, whatever you like. I love white wine too, but this haul is entirely red wine. <laughs> this is definitely the most affordable wine that we'll be sharing today, but a good budget buy. Next up, let's talk about some BevMo wines. I haven't been to BevMo in a really long time. Their stores weren't open for a lot of this year, at least in my area, so you could only order online, do curbside pickup. That's not usually how I like to shop there. I like to wander every single aisle and like read labels, look at where things are from. Like that's that's how I like shopping there. I saw on somebody else's Instagram story, I was definitely influenced. They were doing the five cent wine sale. So I popped over and I picked up two new to me wines, a little bit higher price points with the five cent wine sale. It's really nice at BevMo. They have both end cap displays, but they also have labels in the aisles that are, you know, by varietal. So if you know you like Pinots, just go to the Pinot section. They will have tags under the, you know, wines that are part of the five cent wine sale. I wanted to try this one. This one looked really good. This is Dust to Dawn. This is a Pinot Noir out of the Russian River Valley. So immediately it grabbed my attention. I love the label. I've never heard anything about this wine. <laughs> I think this was about 30 bucks and then with the five cent wine sale you get two. So Pinot Noir with dark plum, ripe cherry and toasty vanilla notes, captivating you into the entrancing habitation of the Russian River Valley. And the nice thing about the five cent wine sale, if like you buy two, you don't really like it, you could easily gift it to a friend. Especially around the holidays, wine is a great stocking stuffer or standalone gift. I was influenced on social media. I know someone who shared on Instagram stories like her shopping cart full of this wine. And I was like, what is that? I need to know. So this is the Navigator Cabernet Sauvignon out of Napa. It's a 2017 and it's got this really, really gorgeous label. That's like, I don't know, the Zodiac or something. So, so pretty. I think this was 39 and then obviously great savings with two. Everybody loves cab. So have you guys tried this? Let me know in the comments down below. You can't go wrong with a Napa cab. Normally I wouldn't have picked this up without seeing my friend post about it, but I was like, ooh, I am intrigued and she knows her wine. <laughs> okay, last up, I dropped by Benzinger and by drop by, I mean, I called to schedule my curbside pickup. Wineries are currently shut down in California with the stay at home order, but you can still order retail and do your curbside pickup to support your favorite wineries. So with the Benzinger Wine Club, I've been a member for about eight years now. I have a red only membership and I think it's the partner's level. So I get two bottles four times a year. It's not totally quarterly. I think it's like two in the spring, two in the fall or something like that. Shipping wine is expensive. So with a wine club, if you can do the local pickup, that's really nice. Save you a little bit of money there. Actually the video I did with my wine fridge right behind me. I talked a little bit about their wines. They are all biodynamic wines. They use sustainable farming methods and they have a really gorgeous property. If you have a chance to visit it, it's great. So the first wine is actually under the imagery winery label, which is their sister winery. It's also in Glen Ellen. So if you have a chance to visit one, definitely go to both. And if you're a wine club member, you get free tastings at both. So that's a really nice perk. This is an estate wine and it has structured flavors of dark cherry with notes of cocoa and herbs. This one is a blend of 57% Cabernet Sauvignon, 30% Malbec and 13% Cabernet Franc. Love me some Cabernet Franc. So that is the first one. Next is the 2018 Joaquin's Inferno. So this wine actually has a really cool story. Joaquin's actually one of the employees and he got to name his own wine. 48% Zin, 36% Grenache, and 16% Petit Syrah. Got the 2016 Unipias. Um, This is a really unique one. I'm just reading the notes here. This says the 2016 has notes of bold fruit layered with Earl Grey tea and vanilla on the finish. So really elegant 
This is 60% Cabernet Sauvignon, 19% um, Merlot, 14% Malbec, and 7% Cabernet Franc. So really looking forward. I always really enjoy this one. And then we have the 2017. So they have done an updated label for some of their newer wines. This one's the 2017. Next up is the De Quello Terra Nuema Pinot Noir. And this one comes from a property, um, the De Quello Vineyard, which actually is out by Freestone, so more Sonoma Coast. So, I mean, you know, Sonoma Coast Pinots are just next level. So I really enjoy this one. This one has notes of wild strawberry, black cherry, white pepper, and oak spice. Saving the very best for last, this is Benzinger's Tribute. And again, new label. I have probably two or three of these actually cellared. I, I savor these, I bring them out for special occasions. This is my favorite wine that Benzinger makes. It's also the most expensive they make. Drink now or cellar up to 10 years is what they say. So I have a few of them that I've been saving the last few years. This is a really elegant, rich, full-bodied red blend. It is 58% Cabernet Sauvignon, 14% Malbec, 14% Cabernet Franc, 9% Merlot and 5% Petit Verdot. If you have like a fancy prime rib dinner, steak dinner, this is gonna be the wine for you. We actually brought a bottle of this to the house of prime rib for my sister's birthday last year. We never knew those were the good old days until now. Definitely a splurge, but so, so worth it. So this is one I'm looking forward to having in about five years time. There we go, 11 bottles of wine. That is what I picked up today. Good little haul. If you wait a few months and you stack up your wine club allotments like I do and then you pick them up all at once it really is like Christmas getting six bottles at once but there you have it that is a wrap those are all the wines I picked up today hopefully you enjoyed it I'm gonna link everything down below be sure to subscribe because I am doing vlogmas uploading every single day leading up to Christmas also I will link my video on my new air wine fridge if you haven't checked that out I talk about more wines specifically Sonoma wines that I think you should check out and I give you a little tour of the wine fridge. It's, it's a whole lot of fun. So definitely hit the video with a thumbs up if you wanna see more wine content. Also on my blog, I have a whole wine section over there, so I will link that below as well. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you soon in the next one.